Hello there. It was my birthday back in early November and I got some lovely beauty gifts. Given we're right in the thick of the festive season, I thought this might serve as a good holiday gift guide for the beauty lovers in your life. Or give you a few ideas to add to your own wish list. Something from Dior certainly feels like a special gift. A little something for the beauty lover who has everything, perhaps. This Dior Nail Glow is a clear polish with a slight pink tint. It's designed to give you a French manicure without all the fuss. It's very subtle, very fancy, but it might be nice for people who don't like to have completely bare nails but can't wear nail polish at work. The Lip Sugar Scrub is good for lipstick lovers to keep lips soft and prepped all the time. I'm really enjoying it. It's nowhere near as gritty as I thought it would be. Not much sugar comes off on the lips. It's more like the bullet itself has a rough top that gently exfoliates as you apply it. A Rouge Dior lipstick would make a classic Christmas gift. Their 999 Red is one of the most famous bright reds in the world. I've always had my eye on it, so I was thrilled to receive it this year. It's the matte formula, but still creamy and won't dry your lips out. Now some luxurious face and body products. The Sisley Black Rose Cream Mask is a seriously luxurious place to start. It's the famous hydrating mask to the stars that's meant to give unbelievable results. I'd been raving about wanting to try it and mum clearly overheard. <laughs> it's meant to be really plumping and nourishing on the skin so I can't wait to start using it. Salus is an Australian brand out of Melbourne that make fantastic body products. I always love a hand cream Prezi and their rose intensive hand and cuticle cream feels thick but not heavy and smells lovely and floral. I'll be featuring them in an upcoming Aussie Beauty Brands video next week so stay tuned. Jolique is another one of my Aussie favourites. Their rose water balancing mist is the best rose facial spray I've tried and I have tried my fair share. The scent is just spot on. There's nothing fake rose about it. It's so realistic and a perfect gift choice to really pamper someone. A couple of very thoughtful prezzies from friends here. One of my best friends in London, Rach, who also has a YouTube channel. She's been around much longer than I have, so I'll leave her link down below. She sent me Glossier's birthdaybalm.com. So sweet of her. Very appropriate birthday prezzy. It's such a yummy cake flavor with a slight glitter through it. They now ship to the UK, so she might turn into my courier in future. Thank you, Rach. And another friend completely lashed out and surprised me with the Diptyque Bay Candle, one of my all-time favorites. It's a gorgeous light rose and black currant scent. Very subtle though, so it's a great one if you're not quite sure what the person's into. It's such a generous Prezi. They burn for about 60 hours. I just love giving them as gifts because they're a real treat to use and keep using to store things in afterwards. Diptyque basically turned me into a candle person, so please let me know if you'd like to see a video of my collection and favorite scents. To finish, a few treat yourself pieces that happened because I spent too much time on Cult Beauty before my birthday. Cannot recommend that website highly enough. They have an excellent edit of brands. I'm obsessed with Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipsticks. Probably going to bring you a big swatching review of them at some stage. Birkin Brown is a pretty daring dark shade, but I'm really into brownie nudes at the moment. This is a rich chocolate, but if you only apply a tiny bit, it ends up being a really cool, sophisticated stain. And Red Carpet Red, one of her most famous shades. I do not need another red lipstick, but this one's different, right? It's just a powerful, punchy color, and it felt like a fun one leading into the holiday season. The formula of these is something else. So smooth, so many shades, so check them out before Christmas if you have a lipstick addict in your life. I had to get in on the Huda Beauty hype. I bought one of her Obsessions palettes as soon as they landed. It's such a cute mini palette, mostly mattes and one crazy glitter shimmer. Perfect Prezi for warm shadow lovers. I've got a detailed review of this palette coming soon. Finally, I mentioned in my Meghan Markle video last week that I don't have much from MAC, but I wanted to grab their strobe cream after my super cool YouTube friend, Caitlin from Canada, raved about it in her top five makeup products of all time video, which was a collab we shot a couple of months ago. I quite like an illuminating cream base these days, so much so that I might feature them in one of my next product pile videos. This is the little travel size and it's surprisingly very natural when you rub it in. I hope that's given you all a few gift ideas to suit your skincare, cult beauty and makeup trend obsessed friends and family. I actually don't normally receive any beauty gifts. I tend to shop for myself all the time. So this was really unusual and there was something really special about receiving pieces from loved ones who had knocked it out of the park with their picks. Definitely think any of these would go down a treat under the Christmas tree. A few other festive themed beauty videos coming your way soon. So I'll see you next time.